Hey everybody, it's Stacy Duffy here, your Denver Metro Real Estate Resource, and I'm fighting a low battery in the rain, so we'll see how this goes, but I remember my gimbal, so no camera shake today. <laughs> um, I'm actually at a property that I have under contract for a buyer, and we're doing the inspection right now, and we're going through title work as well, and this is in the Berkeley neighborhood in Denver. And it's kind of a weird history on the property. It's in 1911. The lots have been chopped up a little bit over time. And so it's kind of in between two streets on the end of a block. Well, so in that case, I'm gonna look through the title work and the plat map and see if there's a survey and some party wall agreements and things like that. Cause this garage is part of it as well, but only one side. So there's some title things that we wanna be aware of, but just to let you know, the legal description said, okay, you know, lot, and I'm just gonna make up some numbers, but um, that it's lots three and four, and but only, but not the 83 feet on the west side or east side or whatever. So essentially, and we're like, okay, well, there's no survey, there's no plat map, or the plat map doesn't show the breakdown because the plat map's from 1888. <laughs> so what we ended up doing was um, taking a measuring tape that the buyer brought with them, and actually, and I'll shoot behind me, sorry for the swirl here. And measuring from the past the city right away onto the end of the first property at the end of, of the block um, and measuring in a certain number of feet and saying, okay, it's except the last 83 feet of the lot or the east 83 feet of the lot in this case and said, okay, so 83 feet in from the east side of the lot, where does that land us? Oh, look, it's dead center in the middle of the garage and we own half the garage, which is perfect. Um, sometimes things line up that way. Sometimes they don't. So it's nice to know because if it didn't line up with that and it lined up with this fence right here, then without some other sort of documentation, that owner or this new buyer has no legal right to that garage. So in this part of town, a garage can easily be, you know, a, a covered parking spot can be fifty dollars to $100,000 worth of value. It's a big deal. So anyway, just a little example of some of the things that going through title work is really important. Understanding the plat maps is really important. Um, knowing when you do and don't need a survey or an ILC is really important because a lot of people don't pay attention to those things. So anyway, just wanted to point out an example as we're in across it. But thanks so much for the time. If you're liking my video, please subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. If you're looking to buy or sell here in the Denver metro area, I would be happy to help. My contact information is on my website. The link for that is down below as well. Thanks so much and have a great day.